Yo, what's up? Welcome to the top 10 best Minecraft maps of all time. Now keep in mind this list is 100% subjective. Your list is gonna be different from mine. Also, I'm going off of relevance in a historical context. So most of these maps are gonna be quite old because they were made during Minecraft's peak. And I just think there aren't a lot of great maps coming out nowadays. Anyways, let's get right into it. Make sure to smash that like button. Number 10, the Supercraft Brothers Brawl by Seth Bling. You have probably heard of Seth Bling. He's popular for making YouTube videos about redstone. Although he kind of stopped making videos a couple years ago. Now that redstone is kind of irrelevant with the use of command blocks. He made this map in January 2013, that's six years ago making a fully vanilla Minecraft PvP game based on Super Smash Bros. The map features 8 unique characters, 6 maps, random item drops around the map, automatic life counters and automatic spectators. When this map first came out back then it was considered very impressive and it even spawned a server based on the map that you can still play today. In the map you can choose one of 8 characters such as Enderman, Zombie, Cactus, Creeper or Blaze and you PvP with 4 health bars just like in the real Super Smash Bros. game made by Nintendo. Great map, 10 out of 10. Next up for number 9 we have Minecraft Sonic the Hedgehog made by F.E. Disco. F.E. Disco was another popular YouTuber known for his redstone creations and his maps who also stopped uploading over 5 years ago. He actually has two maps on this list because he's so good. But in this map you play as Sonic based on the Sonic the Hedgehog video game series. It features a working stopwatch, TNT spring jumps, super speed and super jumps. The objective is to complete the course in the shortest time possible and you can try to find the fastest route using the super jumps and stuff. It's basically like a modern parkour map except it was made in November 2012. That's almost 7 years ago. Back then this was considered very impressive. This map is not only very fun to play it also looks very nice especially when you use the signature Effie Disco texture pack. All in all it's great fun. You can also play multiplayer against your friends. Definitely a classic right there. Classic map. Next up in number 8, Cops and Robbers number 4, made by Pot Crash. Although there are 3 other versions of this map, version 4 is by far the most popular and most well known. Being shot up in popularity after Sky does Minecraft and his friends from Team Crafted played it and made a long series about it. In this map there's one cop and he tells the robbers what to do, anything from making them go to the mess hall to eat or go into the showers. The robbers must obey and do as he says or be punished. However, while doing so, the robbers must also find a way to escape without the cop getting too suspicious. This map is very fun to play with your friends as you can do a little role playing. <laughs> the map features a nice looking prison with cell rooms, corridors, a prison yard, an eating hall. This map was made in April 2013. If you didn't play Minecraft back then yet, you missed out because one of the most popular videos made by Skydus Minecraft was on this map with 18.5 million views. That is a lot of views. Since the map is quite simple, I think it has aged pretty well and you can still play it. Just fire it up with some friends, get on TeamSpeak or Discord or whatever and just mess around. Great fun. Next up, number 7, another map made by Seth Bling called Skygrid. Skygrid is a challenging survival map for Minecraft in the style of Skyblock. However, instead of one floating island, it's formed out of a grid of random environmental blocks with four blocks in between every block. So if you want to find resources, you'll have to either parkour really well or bridge your way to another block. And there are also random chests and spawners placed throughout the map. It plays very similar to Skyblock, but also it's more fun. I think the coolest part about this map is just looking around because it creates these cool star shapes. This map was made in May of 2012 but it still holds up. It's definitely still playable just like Skyblock. For number 6 we don't have just one map but rather a collection of maps. I'm talking of course about Vex's super hostile series, Complete the Monument. There are a total of about 10 maps in this super hostile series and they're all great. 
In the maps, the main objective is to find and complete the victory monument. To win the Super Hostile map, you must place each of the requested blocks in the appropriate spot on the victory monument. There are 16 colors of wool blocks that you have to find, and 3 material blocks, iron, gold, and diamond. Finding these blocks is quite hard. There are different dungeons with tons of monsters, dangerous mazes, lava. It's a very hostile environment, hence the name Super Hostile. These maps are pretty fun. You can try them out. Play with your friends. Rage quit, because it's too hard. Yep. For number 5, we have The Walls by Hypixel. No, not the one by Trump, by Hypixel. Little did you know, before they made the famous Hypixel server, the biggest Minecraft server on the planet, they were actually just regular old map makers. In The Walls, a PvP survival map, you go back to Minecraft roots. Crafting, surviving. The map is separated by four giant sand walls. Teams start each on their own platforms and when the timer reaches zero, the walls fall, creating massive lag in the process, and then the players can start killing each other. The last man standing wins the game. This PvP map is different from others in that it's truly like survival. Because in the first 15 minutes, you're just chopping trees, mining ores, Smelting crafting is like a real survival map. This map was made in June of 2012. I'm not sure if you can still play it on the official Hypixel server. And they also made a part 2 later. But it's a pretty great map, great concept. Split them up in 4 corners, yeah. Make the walls drop, that's very innovative. Especially for 2012. Great map. At number 4 we have The Survival Games by Variety. Another classic map that everyone knows. In fact, some people might not even know that it used to be a map before it became a minigame on literally every Minecraft server. Inspired by the movie The Hunger Games, it is a free-for-all PvP arena with 24 players. They spawn in a circle around the chest. Then the game starts and they start looking for items, scavenging, getting the best gear, and then they fight. One man or woman survives. Made in 2012, in April, this map spawned the PvP community. When they started their server, HiveMC, they added this minigame, it was a hit, it was the bomb. And soon every server copied it. In fact, some might say that the popular Battle Royale games now are based on this minigame. I mean, it's kind of the same, you drop out of the sky and you start collecting items and then you kill each other. That was the whole premise of the survival games. Great map, classic by another classic YouTuber who has sadly stopped uploading Minecraft videos. Don't think this guy is a classic? Think again. They made the Minecraft trailer, the official trailer, and they made HiveMC. Wow, what a guy. <laughs> Applause. A number three, another map by Effie Disco! Effie Disco! This video on this map, the Temple of Notch, has 13 million views. And it was made in September 2011. Damn. In case you don't know who Notch is, he is the original creator of Minecraft, but he sold the game to Microsoft a couple years ago. But he is basically this Swedish guy with a beard, and this map is the temple of this guy, Notch. Basically, you can feed the fountain some gold, and then you gain entrance to the temple of Notch, and he opens his eyes, he uh, blinks, and he either cries and kills you, or he gives you gold kind of random and it was definitely impressive for 2011 to make this whole system using redstone that's quite impressive no command blocks no plugins no mods just pure vanilla redstone baby and number two we got the dropper by bigri man doesn't that just take you back ah the dropper we played this we have a video five years ago 4.6 million views baby the map was such a success, he also made a second one. Boom! This map has 16 levels and is not normal parkour, no. Instead, you jump from the top of the map down and you have to kind of float in free fall, steering yourself to the bottom without dying from fall damage. There's also a diamond hidden in each level, which you can get for fun. But it's the levels themselves that do it. They're beautiful, very creative maps. Like a playroom, you're trying to descend in this playroom, or a giant rainbow tube. How did he make that? 
Or maybe you want to jump from a skyscraper, that's possible too. This map spawned a whole new genre of maps. It's now like its own subgenre of map, and people are still making new dropper maps to this day. And with good reason, because it's a great concept. Why only parkour sideways when you can also go up and down? Good stuff, homie. Good stuff. And ladies and gentlemen, finally, number one! What could it be? It's Skyblock. This has got to be by far the most popular map of all time. Made by Noob Crew, a classic. The concept behind the map is very simple. You spawn on a floating island and you must survive and complete challenges with the limited resources available. On the island there's also a chest with a water bucket, a lava bucket and stuff. You can use that to make a cobblestone generator, which is what most of your builds are gonna be made out of. Cobblestone. And there are a couple challenges that you can complete, like uh, craft 10 jackal lanterns or create a mob spawner. And if you fall off the island, you die. Whoopsie. Seriously, this map is genius. In fact, I would almost go as far to say that it's more fun than playing normal survival. Because it adds a little bit of a challenge to be confined to this little island with nothing around it. It's just void. This map was so revolutionary that it created a whole plethora of servers still to this day, 2019. You can still find Skyblock servers dedicated to this map. In fact, it's here on Harry.com. Join our Skyblock server. It's very popular. Not in comparison to Hypixel, of course. We have like only 1% of their playbase, but it's still a great minigame, great server. Check it out. 2019 still holds up. When was it made? 2017? No. 2015? Nah. Oh, then it must be 2013, right? Nope. It was made in 2012, and it still holds up. Damn. Great map. Instant classic. Love it. So that's it for the top 10 best Minecraft maps of all time. Do you agree? Do you disagree with the list? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and I might make another one. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.